Hi, it's Cassandra from the Cap University blog, and I am in Phoenix, Arizona for SolidWorks World 2015. And here are some of the highlights and updates from SolidWorks. Since it was my first time here, um, I decided to focus a lot on what the customer experience would be. And um, so I took advantage and, and looked at things and joined presentations that you typically don't have access to. Um, the content's online, um, but seeing someone do it in person leads you through some kind of case study, uh, take you through, for example, a whole Photo 360 rendering process. Um, it's, it's really educational, and it's, it's a really good hands-on experience that you can't get in most places. So this is my third year at SolidWorks. So I was able to go to Orlando and San Diego and now in Phoenix. And aside from just getting away from the cold New England weather, um, which is also awesome, um, it's just really great to be able to, you know, see what other resellers are doing, what other customers are doing, especially um, get a lot of really cool customer, customer stories. And um, a lot of the breakout sessions have been extremely helpful. Uh, it being my third year, I kind of know how to navigate the lay of the land a little bit better. Oh, in the partner pavilion, that's always a lot of fun. This was my fifth year at SolidWorks World, and I really, really enjoyed the ability to uh, present my fourth presentation um, on Choosing Wisely. The Choosing Wisely presentation that I gave was a snapshot of a Choosing Wisely webinar that I'd given previously last year. The idea was that we could take two different concepts of modeling and decide what was best for different scenarios of what you were doing, whether it be a checkbox that you could turn on and off, and basically the pros and cons of each one. So yesterday they showed a new product that they showed us a year ago. They just gave us like a little tiny sneak peek of it. And they showed a lot more of it this year called uh, Industrial Design, SolidWorks Industrial Design. And it, it opens up a, a way of creating parts that haven't been available to us through the SolidWorks tools yet. Uh, and it's called Sub-D Modeling. And it, it takes basically building a little quilt of all these surfaces and you can create cre creases and push and pull them into ways that we haven't been able to do that before in SolidWorks. Uh, except through some third-party applications. And what's really interesting about it is how it takes uh, into use the stylus, uh, which is really common in industrial design uh, tools like Photoshop and, and you know when they're gra doing graphics design. So to take this into a 3D environment where you can draw shapes and then make them 3D and then draw on the 3D surfaces uh, with that stylus, I think it's going to change the way a lot of industrial designers create the concept. One of the new products that's coming out in, you know, I think it's a couple weeks it's going to be available to customers is SolidWorks MBD, which is, uh, it gives us the ability to leverage our 3D data that we have in our models that we're using, and instead of having to go transfer that onto a two-dimensional drawing, we can just do all of the dimensioning and tolerancing and everything that would go on the drawing in the 3D model. So everything's contained all within the same file. You don't have to have a drawing file that references this 3D file. And then, uh, you know, you can export it into a 3D PDF, there's customizable templates, so whatever your company standards are that you're using, we can adhere to that, and um, it's really exciting. It's I absolutely loved in 2016 the previews that you can do a multi-directional sweep. This is something that confuses all new users, that you can only go in one direction, so the ability to go in two directions is going to be awesome. Well, I invite everyone to join and uh, watch my webinar that I'll be presenting. It's going to be um, essentially a coverage of what's uh, occurred here at SolidWorks World, um, some of the highlights. Um, we just exited from the uh, for last day's general session, and it gave a great overview of what we'll see in 2016, um, and I'll be covering those. Um, in addition, I'll be going through basically everything that we, uh, we experienced throughout this uh, few days.